I'm very pleased to launch ADB's 2022 Partnership Report, which highlights the transformational work that ADB and its partners are doing throughout the region. In 2022, building resilience was one of the pressing and recurrent concerns. The Asia and the Pacific region had made such great strides in development. These advancements on many fronts, however, can be undone by shocks, as shown by impacts of the poly crisis starting with the COVID-19 pandemic, and more recently, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, food and fuel crisis, natural hazards leading to disasters, and the rising inflation that hit the poor and vulnerable. Resilience is one of the four pillars of ADB Strategy 2030. We want to build resilience in all aspects of our development work. We want resilient infrastructure, cities, and communities. We want resilient schools, hospitals, businesses, and governments. We want farmers to be resilient. We want the environment and natural resources to be resilient. And we want all economies in the region to be resilient. We had vibrant operations in 2022 to help our developing member countries deal with the poly crisis. We committed $20.5 billion of our resources for 141 projects, 285 technical assistance operations, and over 10,000 transactions on their private sector programs. From our financing partners, we mobilized $11.4 billion, supporting 124 sovereign and 42 non-sovereign projects. We worked with 14 bilateral and six multilateral partners, four global funds, and numerous private sector and other partners to help countries and communities transition from vulnerability to resilience. Our partnership made significant strides in 2022 in promoting resilience. COVID-19's impact set communities back particularly women. In Georgia, ADB and our financing partners are strengthening resilience to future shocks by financing and empowering more small businesses owned and led by women. We are helping booming cities, straining with growth, transform into more efficient and resilient water systems using innovative partnerships with advanced regional water utilities. Tackling climate change means building resilience. In Bangladesh, ADB and our partners are helping communities to adapt to and mitigate flooding impacts. Food price inflation is driving more people deeper into poverty. In Sri Lanka, ADB and our financing partners are strengthening vulnerable communities with cash transfers while also helping to expand climate resilient crops. In the wake of the poly crisis, global supply chains and trade have been hit hard, reducing economic growth in the midst of rising inflation. We are helping Mongolia's resilience with targeted support to the poor and vulnerable. Building on this momentum in 2023 and beyond, we are revamping our operating model to deliver even better services and results. We are expanding our leadership on climate change, boosting the private sector in investment, offering broader development solutions, and becoming more agile and responsive. I encourage you to look through the Partnership Report 2022 and be inspired by the transformational stories of resilience. None of this amazing work could be done without the engagement and support of our partners. So, on behalf of the Asian Development Bank and the people and communities that our shared operations help, I want to say thank you. Together, ADB and our partners will continue to help Asia and the Pacific region grow and prosper.